Hello everyone, this is Manag, your civil bro. So this is day 14 of the video tutorial series on Bushtad Pro, RCTC and uh, SAFE. So today uh, we are going to do the foundation design in RCTC. In the previous lectures, we had completed the beam design and the column design and detailing in RCTC. We saw how useful RCTC was. So we learned coating design as usual, fast and simple simplest way open rcdc and we'll open the same model which we uh, you know opened uh, in the earlier version and which we're working on so first of all we'll just click on accept and then uh, one 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 and then select the file in which you're working on stat file and then uh, just select the footing create new project and uh, it will import all the loads and everything and after that just save the file because it is required so i'll name it as rcdc footing 2 save and after that what you need to do because we already designed the columns we need to import the uh, you know the reactions you know under the columns might change so we'll import the column data so column data will be imported from the you know rcdc file so import file go to file import column data and the rcdc file in which you've designed the column just to select that particular file and click on open you don't have to, don't have to do anything all the data of the columns which you have designed will be imported after that, click on OK. As you can see, columns with their column marks have been imported. After that, you can change the type of the footing. I uh, like the slope, step. First of all, we'll start with pad. Okay. The normal pad footing. And I'll show the basic, uh, you know, this uh, things which you need to know. SBC, you can change the SBC here, you know, as per your soil conditions 120, 150, 200, whatever you want to give. You can give footing. Generally, we go with M25 for footing. And uh, the reinforcement gate available is a 550 currently and uh, cover we are using 75 mm cover here and the other things is these are by default no need to change there and uh, then vector safety also if you want to provide for you know top steel just to select this or or else you can untick this or else you can just if the putting depth is equal than 600 then you can provide top steel okay so uh, just uh, click on okay and there is uh, not really much settings you need to change all these are by default no don't need to change main steel uh, rebar you can start with 10 that's better you can also start with 8 if you want but okay, 10 is good and then you we'll go with the detailing and drawing settings this also is by default no need to uh, change uh, anything here so uh, go to basic load cases all the load cases which we have just press control and then select everything and then okay first of all okay sorry first of all we have to define the type of loads this will be your earthquake load x this is earthquake load z and this is a dead load and this is your live load so you have to define it and after that select all the loads and then go select those primary load cases click on ok and uh, you have to just uh, for regular structure add from template and for sizing also regular structure add from template so you can see the unfactored you know your uh, unfactored moments they have unfactored load formation they have added for sizing so no need to do it manually like we did in the case of ms excel uh, putting design by excel program so just click on ok and uh, you have these two things now load combination and load cases ready and uh, you don't have to do anything just click on this auto design so uh, as you can see the footing has been designed and some footings are overlapping as they often do in the case of stat foundation also some footings are overlapping but you can see the design is pretty much you know it's it's uh, economical and you can see uh, there is uh, the there are the reinforcement spacing and all these are also okay so now that our target is to uh, you know see you know whether uh, the we can make the things not overlap and uh, you know after that we can just uh, uh, if, if any uh, putting remains which is overlapping we can uh, design that as a combined putting later which cannot be done here it can be done in step foundation advanced or you know any excel program you can have to do it or in safe so here we cannot be then combined putting so we'll, we'll try first let uh, to just change some things and see whether we can uh, just unoverlap the uh, drawings. I've seen a lot of videos in which people uh, leave this as uh, uh, you know overlap. So I'm not going to do that. So first of all, uh, this this uh, putting is good, but I'll just try to reduce its size a little bit. So, but this is good. This is uh, this is not within the range of this putting. So we can you know actually construct this two puttings. So no, there will be no problem. So deal with C4 and C5. So C4 and C5. So so first of all, we select the C4 and uh, here, 
just right click and design. So what we'll try to do, let's try to increase this depth to 500 and try to just change it to 2700. And we'll see like if we, this is passing or not, 2700 and redesign. Just click on here. So it is redesigned and we'll just click on accept and uh, we'll see, okay, this has been reduced, but we need actually lower size than 2700. Okay, so let's uh, see whether it works out or not. And right click in design. So we'll give here a 2600 and this also 2600 and then uh, design. Uh, this is also working. Spacing is also good. So accept the design. We'll let go uh, accept the design first and have a look at this. So still there is some portion remaining. So we'll go try to go a little bit deeper. Design again. And we'll go 2500. I think it will fail. 2500. And then uh, design. Okay, just passed. Accept. And it is okay. This is not there is not much difference. You can see what is the difference here. Uh, but why saving it in CAD format? But not going to do that right now. And then uh, design once again. And let me just go 50 mm. 2400. I think if it fails in 2400. We'll time 2450. 2400 design and it is failed. So I'll go 2450 and here also 2450 and then design and accept. So this is the maximum I can go with 500 depth. So I have to reduce the size of this a little bit. So going to the next uh, C5 and then uh, I'll just right click design. Uh, first of all, I'll increase the depth a little bit and I'll try to decrease it. So 1700 I'll try. Otherwise, you can. Even if it's 1750, I think it is good to go. Design and it has been designed. Okay. Now uh, I can see the coating has been separated. So now uh, this is good. So one, two, three, four, five, six uh, footings are not overlapping. So now let's see. Okay. Now basically this footing has to be designed, uh, you know, as a combined footing. But you know there is also a trick. You know, if you don't want to design combined footing, also if these are of the same size, and you can take the maximum reinforcement and design these two as a one footing. So we're just going to do this. So it is 300 into three, uh, you know, this uh, column size is same and 3250 into 3250 into uh, your uh, 300. So the size is the same. The reinforcement, as you can see, reinforcement is also uh, the same. So we can provide, uh, you know, this entire size, so the combined size and uh, treat it as a one footing. Like this also you can do, you don't have to design combined footing in this case, right? Uh, okay. So uh, first of all, let us if we we'll try to redesign it, and if we can uh, reduce the size a little bit, so let's go 2800, uh, 2800, and then uh, depth of 500. Let's give because maximum the 500 we have given in the other footings, so it is okay. And uh, just accept the design, and this also for this particular footing also, we'll just try to reduce it. So the design and uh, here uh, 2800. Uh, uh, just uh, 2800 and go 500 depth accept and then uh, redesign and then accept so the size has been reduced a little bit 2800 to cover less um, area more area will be saved for the tank and all so we can provide this uh, uh, you know total size you can just save it in AutoCAD first of all save it in AutoCAD this will be our uh, footing layout right footing layout footing layout and while we'll uh, you know provide the footing size we'll uh, give the total footing size okay i'll just show you in autocad uh, what is the total size just a moment so this is the file so as you can see when i'll provide the footing don't have to design the combined footing i just simply provide this size that is, uh, you just select this and match property MA enter and this will give it, right? So I'll select this also and this size, select this again, MA enter and this, right? So 4900 into 2800 and I'll give the dimensions, other dimensions also I'll give. So this will be my combined footing and the reinforcement of the combined footing will be, uh, you can see here, uh, this will be 10 mm bars at the rate 300 center to center. So this will be my reinforcement layout. 
uh, of the bottom, uh, you know, this bottom reinforcement because I haven't provided any top reinforcement. So both sides 300 and, uh, you know, the, at the top and at the bottom, okay, top they provided, sorry, top both sides 300 and at the bottom both sides 135. I can provide and the size will be this much for the combined putting. So combined putting, I am not to, uh, don't have to design. So this is a trick which you can use for to save time. Otherwise, you have to design the combined putting uh, using a uh, safe software. So that will take some time. So like this, you can do. So some practical tips I have shared with you in this. And obviously, the other things which you can do here is uh, your, we can uh, do go for the text schedule or vertical schedule, what is the schedule. Let's see what vertical schedule gives. This, this one is putting dimension along with this, uh, uh, you know, your stirrups not required here, top and bottom putting schedule. Okay, in okay, in, in being particular, uh, some footings they have not provided this uh, top reinforcement only in footings, uh, which where the depth is 500, they provide the top reinforcement. So, this is where 500 depth you need the top reinforcement, otherwise, it is not required. So, design is pretty much you know economical as you can see, sizes are also good. And no footing is overlapping. Only the two footings are overlapping. We'll just change it in the cat. The size will change, and the reinforcement will be the same. So what we'll do in the cat, I will show you. Save this file. I'll save this file as uh, uh, footing schedule. Footing schedule, and uh, then I'll just show you footing schedule. What we'll do. So. This size for both the you know this uh, C seven and the C I'll just we'll just do C seven comma C eight here okay and then we'll delete this go right E R enter enter and then we'll just uh, you have to by the way save this as a DWG file this is a DXF file so after that only you can the changes will be saved. And this size, we'll just uh, write it from here, 4900 into 2800. So it will be 4900 into 2800. Depth is 500, reinforcement is same. So this much changes you can do, and then go to, and then, then you can save the file in DWG format, okay? So then it will, your changes will be saved. So that you can do, and let's see the reports, and uh, you have the detailed drawing. Let's see for all the footings and uh, click on okay you can see this is the this is actually the detailed drawing and then you have reports and you have this project settings design and uh, you have this uh, bill of quantities so bill of quantities also you can do like we had done previously okay fp550 rate obviously is with labor let's consider one uh, uh, one zero three and M25 with labor, let's consider 8,500. And plan area, let's consider per square meter of uh, plan area. Uh, let's consider uh, a rate of 2700, 2700 per square meter. And uh, okay, let's consider 3000. 3000, everything almost is covered. 3000 and click on OK. So then you will have the uh, bill of quantities also. And uh, you know this will uh, come with the quantities, and then okay, let me see. Then you can generate the BBS, BBS for all footings, and uh, click on generate. So you can see here is the detailed drawing. Here is the BBS. So the BBS also you can save here the BBS. First of all, I'll save and then open in CAD for better view. So putting previous and then click on save. And then we'll see the file here in CAD. So you can see here putting previous, putting sizes, uh, the elevation, right? When the lapping in all is mentioned and the BBS, you can see. So everything is mentioned, total quantity of steel you can find from here. Okay, so we didn't get the BOQ also. So let's get the BOQ. I missed that. 
reports go to BOQ. So we had already done this, uh, all the fill up all the things, but you need to just select anything. Suppose you want BOQ summary. That's what you generally want. And uh, just click on, uh, okay. Before that, you can change the rate of excavation backfilling. Suppose I'm in 300 backfilling. Uh, you know, when you just take out the sand and, and do it again, same rate I'll give, okay. For backfilling also for PCC 4,500. Uh, I'll do this uh, 6,000 with labor. Rates have already increased, so that's why I'm stuttering. Let me do this as 750, and then click on OK. So for putting purpose, how much you money you need, you just you'll just get this here, and you can also find the total quantity of reinforcement and total quantity of steel. So everything you will find here. So you can just save this file. You know how? Just quickly click on this, and HTML file will be saved. But now you have to do Control plus P. So when you do Control plus P, you can save it as PDF. Just print, and then this will be your uh, B O Q of footing okay and then click on save so boq of footing is uh, saved here and uh, you this you are known how to save then generate the bbs the boq and the drawings and also i show you showed you a trick if you to avoid designing of combined footings also and how to you know unoverlap the footings in this uh, software itself to save yourself some time hope this was useful do drop a like and uh, comment uh, is very important. Comment below on how you are, how much you progressed in this lecture, and what are the further you know lectures or videos which you want. So make sure you comment. Don't shy away from uh, dropping a comment and uh, reaching to me. Okay. So keep learning. Bye bye.